Hello guys and welcome to the Express TV, of course this is your number one online TV and I'm your host, Jonah the presenter and today remember we bring you the best of the best stories this is your favorite channel of learning and today my guest has an amazing amazing story so welcome, I'm Karibisha Kony Show at Pigie Story Ake Vile Likua Karibu sana sasa Asante Bono na fraia sana yo <laughs> of course, <laughs> it is. So people are waiting to hear from you. Yes, to Yes, to Yes, to Yes, Yes, to to Yes, to Yes, Yes, to 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 to Yes, to Yes, to Yes, Nita. Mm -hmm. Now, we mm -hmm. to here before. Now, it's now real now. Yeah, so, story ako ileska kilogo. Mm -hmm. So, we'd like to hear it now in deep details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for introduction, and we maybe to be maybe life ili uliansa aje life. Ukafika mali ulipo. I was married before. Kwanza are you married? Yeah, I'm married. Ah, very nice. You're married. Now, how was it? Ukafika mali, umefika sai. Okay, uh, before I get into marriage life, mm. <coughs> nili soma hapa Kenya Institute of Management. Mm. So, one day, ni kiuwa tu kwa nyumba, a friend of mom came. Mm. U, rafiki ya mama wakaniambia, mama amesema, mm. uoleke. Mm -hmm. Na sai yo sina boyfriend. Mm. Mimi ni najua inafaa ni some, mm -hmm. because my mother was very strict. Mm -hmm. So, nikambia huyo mama, mm -hmm. uh, sasa mama kiniambia ni oleke, where does she want me to go? Mm -hmm. So, I, the answer I gave to that woman, mm -hmm. ilimambia, just tell mom, mm -hmm. and nipe one week nitamjibu. Mm -hmm. In that one week, nilikuwa nataka nitafute mahali nitaenda nikae, mm -hmm. nimalize college, then I go back to my father's home. Mm -hmm. So before that, mm. mama kakua furious kabisa. She really needed me to get out. Mm. So, nika, in the course too, hapo, mungu wakaleta tu mtu. Ujama tukaongea na ikaonekana kwa serious. Uh -huh. Na si, atu kwa idet before. Mm. Ile tu just love at first sight. Mm. So, tukaenda kwake. E, mama wakatu lete hadi chief. Chief. Tukashikwa, uh -huh. tukapelekwa ndani. Mm. So, chief akamuliza what is the problem. Akasema anataka ile pesa hote amini some share, mm. ni murudishie. Mm. So, tukakaa hapo na marisits mama, akakuja na receipts za memeba. Zenya, likuwa na nilipia shule. Mm. Then, kupiga mm. hesabu, ilikuwa na kuja, ito to link to 1.5 something hapo. So, yu ni kuanzia primary ya Kuanzia mani. primary, likuwa na receipts zote. So, sijuizi, okay, primary but mm. not nursery. Mm. So, and this guy alikuwa nafanya kazi ya po Jakaranda Hotel. Mm. Ambako mshara yaki ilikuwa peanut. By then, hiku imefika ata 20k. Mm. So, akaka, akambia chief, to be genuine, mm. eh, the only amount na izakuwa nalipa mom every month, mm. it's 500 shillings. Kwa sababu, I'm only getting 12,000. Mm. Nilipe rent. Mm. Sasa, tujinyime, nilipe mom miatano, miatano, mm. hadi tumalize ideni ya one point. <laughs> yeah. Na mamu wakakasirika, akasema hiyo ni madharau. Na chief kuangalia, akaona ni kitu ya familia. Mm. So this man decided to send us back home mm. to our parents. Mm. Kijana elete wazazi wake, mm. mini elete wazazi wangu. Mm. Then mom was not for that. Mm. But sisi, tukaendelea tuna ndoa yetu. Mm. <laughs> so it reached a time, my brother came, my elder brother. Mm. Alikuwa mlevi sana. Sasa wamefanya investigation wamepata tunaishu wapi. Mm. So this boy, no, mom akatumana niende. Mm. So nikambia ujamaa nataka tuende. Mm. So tukaenda hadi kwa mom. So mom akashika huyo ujamaa. Mm. Mashati sasa. Eh, Haka muambia, mm. utaachana na mtoto wangu. Usipona achana na mtoto wangu. Mm. Utajua nilikuja na Nairobi kufanya umalaya kwa nini. Mm. And then my elder brother anashika huyo kijana. Mm. Anamuambia, utawachana na dadangu bado ni mdogo sana mm. nitakupiga mm. but nikiangalia this guy mm. anaweza chapa my brother tena vibaya sana mm. so nikamwambia ah huyu jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Martin mm. nikamwambia Martin usichape ndugu yangu if you dare touch my brother afadhali tuachane 
akarisikia tukatoka but this guy ali decide ku report everything pia kwa mama yake pia back at home now the mother akakasirika kabisa na akasema kama mama ya msichana amekutukana hapa kwangu hata za mtoto so tukakaa around 3 years sipati mtoto kanipeleka kwa wazazi wake akanipeleka kwa babake mm. and i used to pray very much i was very prayerful mm. okay when i entered into this marriage na ikaanza hiyo shida mm. niliingia church kuna mama nilikutana naye alikuwa rafiki ya mama yangu akanipeleka church so ndio nikaanza kujua church nikajua kuomba huh? nikaanza tu ku draw near to god mm. with that nikiwa tu na uzuni because i don't have a mother to lean to i don't have a brother to lean to mm. and since I'm, i'm the only girl i had no girl to lean to mm. so ilikuwa tu huyu mwanaume na mimi mm. so tukiendelea hivyo akanipeleka home sasa kwa real dad where the mother was si kwenye kijana alikuwa amezaliwa mm. so kijana kwao ilikuwa uko kitale tukaenda huko mm. the father showed us a place tukajenga mm. na tukakaa around three years rango zikaanza kwa nini huyu msichana azai kwa nini huyu msichana azai na before tufike hapo nilikuwa nishatumwa kijana sasa amenituma kwetu niende niongee na wazazi wangu kwa nini sizai nikaenda tu i met my dad my uncle anaitwa reverend george tukaongea akanitia hadi aunties wakakaa wakasema sisi kwetu hatuoni yule mtu alikuwa tasa basi sasa tujui kwa nini wewe haupati mtoto wakaniombea nothing happened so i came back to nairobi tukaenda home na the father to the boy mm. alikuwa na three wives the first wife hakuza second wife hakuza third wife ndiye alikuwa amepata watoto mm. but now after kuza alikuwa mm. mentally challenged this woman mm-hmm. So mzee alikuwa anaambia kijana si unaona mimi niko na mama zako wote hapa wawili hawakuza but i have them mm. nyenye mvumilie mwende hadi hospitali mjue shida iko wapi mm. but huyu kijana alikuwa mama's boy anasikiza mama kabisa mm. akimwambia fanya hivi hiyo ndio alikuwa anafanya mm. so akanifungulia aka salon bila aliona maneno imekuwa mingi mm. nikiendanga hiyo salon ya anabaki kwa nyumba analeta warembo huko so neighbors could tell me mm. but nilikuwa nampenda sana mm. sikuwa na imagine Martin anaweza fanya kitu kama hiyo cause hiyo mm. yote tumepitia hakuna kitu niliamini mm. so one day my brother my brother's wife Aliza mm. nikaitwa obviously kwa Luya niende kunyoa so, kama anti <laughs> so kwenda huko mm-hmm. masai kapita ya kwenda kufungua mai kako ka biashara kangu mm. so yeye akafikiria ni kama nilikuwa nimeenda mm shughuli zangu mm. kutoka nikapata amekuja ameweka padlock mm. na ameenda kwa nyumba amenyekea vitu nje so my brother hizi nikaribisha mm. mmoja alikuwa anaishi kangemi mwingine kayole wote hizi nikaribisha so i have no way, no way to go i remember there is a time nilienda kwa huyu namba 2 na akaniambia mimi sitaki tasa kwa nyumba yangu nikanyamaza tu nikatoka nikaenda nilikuwa natembea tu nikipata pa kulala na lala basi nilikuwa napata wa mama wazuri mm. na lala huko siku moja natoka but nguo zangu nilipeleka kwa huyo ndugu yangu because siezi beba na zilikuwa mingi mm. so nikitembea tu pia hivyo nimehuzunika tu i also met a friend of my mom akaniangalia akasema huyu ni msini msichana wa Abigail mm. na mimi kumuona tu nikaanza ku shed tears mm. akanuliza unafanya nini so nikampea story akaniambia ah kuja twenda and this woman mm. ako blessed tu na mtoto mmoja mm. na this boy pia ako challenged mm. ana my life poa mm. mm, ni kama hana akili timamu mm. so kwenda kwa hiyo nyumba kuna watoto watano plus mama baba this is a single house mm. single room mm. na huyu mama anakuja tu only on sundays anaishi job mm-hmm. so tulikuwa tunajipanga vile tunalala hizi mm. viti mbili single single sita mtoto mmoja analala wengine wawili chini mi najikunja na mwingine kwa kiti na kwa kiti so nikalala hapo sasa hiyo kazi kupata ni tabu food kupata ni tabu but i thank god these people accommodated me na wakanipea mm. food mm. nikapata kazi hata nimefulia watu kazi yangu ya kwanza sasa after kutoka kwa hiyo marriage yeah. nilianza kufulia mzungu pale westlands mm. 
na hapo kwa mzungu kuna mama anaomba hapa nje tu karibu church is it church brookside mm. kuna mama anaombanga hapo nje mm. up to date mm. so vile nilienda hapo kufua kukutoka hivi nikapata hata wahindi wanaenda hapo wanaombea mm. so nikasimama huyo mama alinipea 250 na akanipea 100 mm. fare tukangeni so nikasema hii fare wamenipea still naweza tembea mm-hmm. nataka at least umama hii pesa nimpe tu hii 100 ya fare kwa mama niombe maybe mm. shida zangu zitafika mlango ifunguke so nikaenda mm. wahindi wakaombewa mimi nafuata tu line mm. kafika wakati wangu akaniongelesha ikaonekana we come from the same county mm. tukaongea lugha kabisa mm. nikapiga magoti akaniombea nikatoa sadaka and then nikakaa around one month nikaitwa job hapo resoras restaurant hapo mm. westlands mm ilikuwa ya mpesa but now unafanya 24/7 ukiingia asubuhi mm. utatoka kesho yake asubuhi mm. so nikapelekwa training nikafanya nikafanya around two months kweli shetani tu mm. <laughs> so one day mtu tunajuana tu akakuja mm. aka deposit money without mm. giving me the id mm. kumbe ilikuwa truck and that's how job yangu iliisha u jamaa akaenda kuniseti kwamba siku muitisha ID wakati alikuwa na deposit hiyo mm. pesa. Mm. Na I think hiyo Mpesa ilifungwa for one week mm. and then ikaresume na mimi kazi yangu ikaisha. Na wakati nilikuwa nafanya at least life ilikuwa imeanza nishapiga mm. subs au watu nitatoka kwa hii nyumba niende hata kwa karumu kangu but mm. we support each other since we many accommodate during mm. my time of need. Mm. Pia mimi lazima nita wa support in a way. Mm. But hata nikiwa hivyo mamangu hata hana hamu ya kuniona ndugu yangu hana hamu yani kila mtu wako tu huko i'm just alone in this world so niulize what was the issue with your mom and your brother my mother sijui mimi nilimkosea nini na jai niambia up to date hmm. for sure sijawahi jua she was just bitter with me very hmm. bitter up to now ama mpaka sasa hii hmm. imegeuka tu last year around november so wakati nilipata mzee na akaamua kwenda nyumbani kuona wazazi hmm. that's when uhusiano wa mamangu umerudi hmm. but before hmm sijai kwa in terms na mama mm-hmm. sijawahi na sijai jua ni kwa nini mm-hmm. na mimi si yule msichana hata akikuja hapa atakwambia huyu mm-hmm. si mtu alikuwa na misbehave nimempata na wanaume shule hivi hapana mm-hmm. i was mm-hmm. just very cool so sijui tulishaitamani kumuuliza but my mother is very bitter mm-hmm. sitama yani natamani kumuuliza niambie pale nilikosa ni mombe msamaa mm-hmm sijai pata hiyo chance ya kumuuliza. Mm. So mpaka wa leo. Mpaka wa leo sijai jua ni nini mm. nilifanyia mamangu ikamuretet that much. Mm. Hadi oh. kuniambia being the only girl and the last born mm. kuniambia nitoke kwa nyumba nioleke. Mm. Na sasa wakati ulipeleka mzee pale nyumbani how was the reaction? Yeah she came. Mm. So unajua we don't talk direct. Mm-hmm. I used my elder brother to pass mm. the information to mm. her. Mm. Bara pia akasikia vibaya mm. kwa nini si mimi nimemwambia. Mm. Alikuwa anataka ni mwambie mimi mwenyewe badala ya kupitia kwa mm. ndugu yangu. Mm. Mm. Wow. Haya turudi sasa pale sasa. <laughs> Kazi ikapotea. Mm-hmm. So nikarudi tu kwa ile life. Mm-hmm. Nikabidi sasa nimeenda nyumbani. Na huko nyumbani mm. babangu alikuwa anafanya Kakamega General Hospital. Mm. Naye pia amewekewa sumu kwa chakula mm. so akokuwa boma. So vile tunapata ends me need mm, ama mm. Me, nini ni hard. Mm. My dad is sick. Mm. I have my step brother hapo na bibi yake yes alikuwa anafanya tu toting huko kwa majengo town. Mm. So yeye ndiye angeenda hiyo toting ya 1010 anapanga gari anapewa 10 mm. anatufeed mimi na daddy but I was okay with mm. my father. Mm. Sipigiwi kelele, sioni mtu ananichukia. Nasema at least I have my father ndio huyu namuona. Mm ata kama hizi ni provide but mm. i have my father that is okay mm. tumekaa na dadi na mshughulikia huyu my step brother analeta food tunakula sikuona hardship until when i came back to nairobi no nilienda sigalagala polytechnic mm. my in law alini connect mm-hmm. nikafanya sigalagala nilikuwa napewa 2000 per month sasa ulikuwa unafanya kama cleaner tu nilikuwa na clean Mm-hmm. Nikapromotiwa nikaekwa hapo kupikia principal chai but mshahara imeongezwa 500 peke yake. Yeah. So napata 2500. Mm. 
then nikaendelea hivyo akanipeleka nikaanza kufanya Glacier East Africa Kisumu cleaning pia mm. nilikuwa na clean hapo Barclays initially it was Barclays Bank mm. saini Absa mm. so nikafanya cleaning hapo and then kuna security walikuwa wanafanya hapo kazi mm. eh, Bob Morgan security mm. so mimi si mtu wa kuongea sana nika approach to one security guy nikamuuliza ndio mtu wa join na BM what are the qualifications mm. So akaniambia tu certificates za form 4. Mm. Nikamwambia but mimi nilisomea Uganda, sina certificates za Kenya. Mm. Niko na form 4 ya Kenya, form 5 ya Kenya. Akaniambia tam dosi wetu mm. BM alisomea Uganda mm. operations manager. Mm. Akaniambia waenda siku ya recruitment. Nikaenda. Kufika hapo mm. the man who is my husband now. Mm. He was my boss and is the first person I met baguette. Wow. So nikamuongelesha nikaona amenipitisha though kuna mwenye hapo alikuwa anakataa hizo certificates mm. but huyu akanifaitia kabisa mm. nikaenda so nikaenda through nikichukuliwa niende training mm. rafiki yangu akanitumia so mm. nikasema huyu jamaa amenisaidia na simjui mm. so i had to send him 100 shillings for appreciation mm. nikabaki na 400 so kukakaa hivyo nikamaliza training nikatumwa bungoma cooperative bank mm. Nikafanya fanya huko kabisa nilifanya around 2 years mm. Bungoma. Huyu jamaa kaanza kunisumbua to my current husband. Mm. Ananitaka mm. unfortunately scandal ikatokea huko Bungoma. Siji operations manager walikuwa na connections gani na tellers mm. pesa ikapotea. Mm-hmm. Na kuwa tu i clean heart. Ah watu walikuwa wamekuja ku askari walikuwa wamekuja ama if i may say CIDs walikuwa wamekuja kuangoja kwa bank na wamejificha in that wakikuja mm. washikwe and since i had the, the information mimi si kujua simu zetu pia ziko zimetrakiwa ah. so i had to send an sms to one mm. don't come don't risk coming mm. they are here waiting for you <laughs> na baada ya kuona hivyo hawa wakukuja kufika saa nane nikaona nimeitwa mm. wakaita watu wangu wa BM wakubwa wangu mm nikakuwa blacklisted black siwezi fanya hapo mm. <laughs> hapo kwa or any cooperative bank nikiwa mm. BM security mm. so nikarudi Kisumu mm. nikakaa nikaanza nikawekwa night shift mega city when nakumatu was nakumatu yeah. mm-hmm. so nikifanya night shift huyu my current husband mm. angekuja hapo ananunulia kila na ni usiku kila mtu chai na escort ananiata mimi akipata nimeinama kidogo hivi asha nipiga kamera mm. uja report to the office you are sleeping on duty mm-hmm. ninaenda hivyo naenda huko nikichoka nampigia simu napiga control room simu yeye ndiye anashika anani summon sijaingia mm. on duty ama nimechelewa na katwa pesa so kulikuwa na hiyo frustration back mm. and forth back and forth initially a break silence mm. generally we never dated with antony mm-hmm. So ile tu akanipea leave ya lazima. Mm. Na BM ukipewa leave lazima urudisha uniforms zote. Mm. So when you come in you are given new uniform. Mm-hmm. So ilibidi nipeleke. Kupeleka nikaenda late. Mm. So hapo ndio jamaa alinishikia. Mm. Na before jamaa anishikie hapo tu sasa tuoane mm. nilikuwa nafanya night shift na kuma mm. mega city. Mm. So there's a lady alikuwa nafanya na kuma tapa anaitwa Linet. So mimi kifika night najishika tu. Siku moja huja akaniambia ah na una kwangu unajuhudumia na, na wewe ni msichana mdogo what is it? At first si ku open. Mm. So vile she kept on pestering me. Mm. Nika open up nikamwambia Linet unajua mimi sizai. Mm. Na kuna mtu ananisumbua mm. na I don't want also to go into a relationship mm. mtu atake mtoto mm. na it happen vile ime happen huko nyuma. Mm-hmm. So akaniambia ah ni hiyo tu nataka nikutume kwa mama mwingine anaomba utapata mtoto nikamwambia na nitapata aje mtoto na i don't have a man mm. i'm not dating anyone akaniambia wewe enda tu mm. uko off line nikamwambia Thursday mm. so akanipea map ilikuwa huko Luanda huko mm. kwa wanyore huko yeah. enda hapo utafute mama anaitwa mama Lois niko na contact ya huo mama up to date mm. so kwenda huko huo mama akaniona it was october akaniongelesha hapo akaniombea na akaniambia unaenda kuzaa mtoto mm. by november when you will come here 
mm. utakuwa na mimba nikamuuliza nitapata mimba aje na mm-hmm. sina bwana akaniambia unaenda kuzaa na bwana ya mtu nikacheka cuz nilikuwa naona mm. there is no man I'm dating mm. bwana ya mtu ndio sasa hiyo ni pewe ali a first leave mm. hiyo siku nilipeleka kupeleka uniform mm. that's when i met anthony na hiyo siku ndio tulikuwa na yeye mm. na ndio hiyo nilipata mimba the same same day Sijui no. kama ilikuwa hiyo day mimi si never dated also <laughs> and we've never dated okay we've never dated kabisa mm. in fact yeye ndiye alijua niko na mimba mimi sikujua mm. so angeniambia mm. mimi nilikuwa na, nasema huu mtu ananiambia nini mm. yeye anajua ile frustrations nime go through mm. Mm. na ninakumbuka penye tulikuwa tunaishi na huyu the first man mm. nilikuwa naishi na cousin ya mama yangu opposite mm angepita kwa mlango yangu yeye sasa anazaa alikuwa ameoleka na mjaluo on the way mm. wajaluo wanapenda lifestyle so life yake ilikuwa ya juu mm. okay yangu pia ilikuwa juu but ni ile nilikuwa stressed up i don't have a baby mm. Mm. that's why ilikuwa hivyo but my man alikuwa ameniweka vizuri kabisa mm. so huyo angepita kwa mlango na ni mama yangu ananiambia mtoto si nguo utaomba mtu anapita hapo he's the very person mm. angenisengenya the whole plot mm. bila sizai Mm. na kumbuka hata there is a time alisema ati kwa kina huyu msichana before kwa uh, ilikuwa boma, ni boma ya wachungaji kwa damba hata mwenda zimu hangeweza kuingia but now as we speak chokora hadi anaingia kwa hiyo boma ili filisika iko zero and this is the cousin to my mother mm. mpaka anakuja hapa anasema mwanaume ni mtoto kama uzai urembo ni ya nini mm. <laughs> but ni nilikuwa na nyamaza tu naomba Mungu wa Mungu Siku moja hata mimi nitaitwa mama kweli. Mm. Ndio hii sasa Anthony ananiambia you are pregnant mm. lazima uanze clinic. Mm. Mimi nikijishika naona tu mimi niko hivyo sioni mimba. Tu. I believe mm. wakati unapata mimba tumbo ndio hiyo. Mm. Siku anajua kuna process. So nakaa tu. Naendelea tu kuishi na babangu. Mpaka ananiuliza unaishi na baba? Mm. Watu wa kuone na mimba. Sijai pigie huyu mwanaume story what happened to me? Kozi hizi vitu sasa sitaki kusema mm. ni ruin hii nini. Mm. Nilikuwa nataka kama kimeumana nijitoe tu bila yeye kujua kitu. Mm. Mm. Bata ananiunza watu watajua watakuona uko na mimba na unaishi na babako watafikiria aje. Mm. Mimi nilikuwa nampea tu death gear. So niko na shemeji yangu anaitwa Agnes. Siku moja akaniangalia na akaniambia, "Ah, unajua baba amekuangalia akasema uko sawa." <laughs> Nikamuuliza na maanisha nini? Aki unajua baba anasema uko na mimba. So reality kaanza kuni hit. Mm. When did I get my last period? Mm. Sikumbuki na sijui. Mm. So nikaenda hapo Russia Hospital Kisumu. Mm. Nyewe nikapima nikapatikana I'm pregnant. Mm. Ata si kuambia mtu. So this Anton was married because he was supposed to liambiwa utazana bwana ya mtu. Sasa Anthony mm. alikuwa na bibi na wakaachana. Mm. But ako na mtoto. Mi kwenda nikamwa nikarudia tena nikamwambia shemeji yangu nimepima hii ndio result nikamwambia daktari nipe hiyo kitu i need to carry it for confirmation mm. daktari hakujua why inafanya hivyo but mimi kwa roho yangu mm. ina mi ilikuwa inaniambia this is not true mm. this is not true mm. so nikaenda nikamwambia shemeji yangu akaniambia so ununua hii kit by then ilikuwa 50 bob mm. so just buy this thing we do it ourselves here mm so nikampea pesa alikuwa anafanya kazi hapo mbale hospital nikamwambia mm. wewe kesho kuja na hii kitu kukuja kuona mm. iko kwenda tu kupima scan vizuri am four months mm. pregnant mm. hapo sasa ndio nikaanza kutapika na kuwa mgonjwa mm. but by wakati tulienda scan mm. ikaonyesha it was a baby girl mm. so tukiendelea mm. kuna kazi yangu alikuwa anajengea babangu nyumba nyumba <coughs> so akanihitaji niende home kwenda home tuko tunaishi hapo Kisumu i met the first uh, first born of wakina daddy that mm. is my auntie mm. ambaye who is late now mm. akaniangalia akaniambia auntie usitembee tena mungu anaenda kuaibisha wengi and you are carrying Samuel in that stomach mm. so nikacheka nikwambia hey, auntie hiyo unabii imepita mm. this is a baby girl akaniambia auntie Ninakwambia ukweli this is Samuel you are carrying. Mm. Na from today because it was July. Mm. Walikuwa wameniambia nitazaa July 29th. Na tulikuwa July 15th. Mm. Akaniambia nimekupea siku nne. 
usitembee utakuwa umeza. Nikamwambia anti doka aliniambia ni 29. So mimi bado tarehe 20 tunakuja hapa kuingiza nyumba. Mm. Akaniambia hiyo 20 tukutane hapa basi. Na on 19 na za. Mm -hmm. My labor was very funny. Mm. I went maji nilioni imetoka. Mm. Nikapelekwa labor room, me I never labored. Daktari mimi kutoka kwa nyumba kwenda huko ananiambia kuja tukupime na ananiambia push. Mm. I didn't labor. I didn't labor at all. Mtoto akatoka tu. I didn't labor. Elizam mtoto mkubwa sana hata daktari wakashanga. Mm. Wakauliza ni wewe ni huyu mtoto ame by then I was kadogo mm. because of stress. Mm. Mm. Vitu zinanifanyikia tu sielewi ni nini so nilikuwa full of yani stressed up. Mm. So sikuwa mkubwa hivi, nilikuwa kadogo sana. Mm ndio maana madaktari walikuwa wananiita kadogo. Mm. Kadogo chindi ameza huyu mtoto na nimezaa bila kukatwa bila anything. Mm. I just pushed. Mm. Na ndio huyu mtoto niko naye he's now 8 years old. Wow. A baby boy what my auntie had told me. Mm. So anytime I meet wale watu walikuwa wananichekelea mm. even I met the guy mm. mwenye alinifukuza niende kwetu mimi nitasa. Mm. With this boy too the first half my first one looks like me completely. Mm paka na mshika na mwambie ah na nakufa nana mm. nikamwambia no mimi ni tasa huyu ni mtoto wa ndugu yangu mm. so unajua ali feel guilty mm. na by the time anasema hivyo already niko na mimba ingine imefika huko na nimwambia mimi eh mimi ni tasa mm -hmm. huyu ni mtoto wa ndugu yangu mm. na kakatu ameniangalia wale wote kama huyo mwenye dada ya mama alikuwa ananiimbia akipita mtoto singuo up to date ananitafuta aniombe msamaha we've never met Nje. so nikienda after uliyama pale amjapatana tena hata nikiyama hata mm. nikienda home naambi wangu alitoka jana mm. mimi Ampatani. nikitoka anaambiwa nita alikuwa hapa jana mm. atupata nangi ananitafuta hata if be i've never responded mm. but sina roho mbaya na mtu mm. i think god's time was the best ni sisi tulikuwa tunaharakisha mm. maneno mm. i wish we were patient mm. mungu angekuwa shatenda hii yote ah. at the right time wow Mm. That's very nice. Now, uh, I think this is a bit of a lot of families. Mm. So maybe someone else might have faced the same challenges mm. that you faced. Maybe a Jewish and see what. So what can you do? Okay. Can you tell uh, them? To such people, mm. unajua, mm. me initially, mm. see why I believe God's time is the best. Mm. Ninajua, and when it comes to Western part of Kenya, <laughs> wanajua, mtoto ndio everything mm. without a baby wezi ishe kwa hiyo boma mm. wanaabudu watoto sana mm -hmm. mm? watu wa western hawaamini mm. kwamba mnaweza kaa tu loving each other mm. na muishi maisha Bila mtoto atakuja wakati wake mm. but these people i remember huyo mm. mama mkwe alikuwa ananiambia ukioleka kwa mlu ya probation ni 3 months after 3 months tuone matokeo but unfortunately mimi nilikaa 4 years i mean 3 years yeah. sikupata mtoto Na sasa ndiyo, when I got this boy, mm. nilijua God's time is the best. Mm. Na tena midomo, mm. uko western, for sure, iko, mm. curses if I may say. Mm. Because when this woman said, uta zana kijana wangu, for mm. sure, siku zana yeye, mm. alikuwa shama maliza hiyo story. Kwa sikuwa nini, because my parents, walikuwa pia wameungelesha, kijana mm. vibaya. Mm. So, wakati tu, unakaa, mm. unaona vitu kama hizo, mm. you put God first. God mm. is everything. God mm. is above everything. Mm. Eh? And God's time is the best. I mm. bado narudia, God's time is the best. Mm. Mungu akipanga haita tendeka, mm. haita tendeka. Na akisema so it shall be, mm -hmm. it will be. Mm. Eh? Akuna mtu anaiza pinga. Mm. Mungu anapangia kila mtu maneno yake mazuri kwa wakati wake. Mm. Unapanga huku, mungu anapanga huku. Me there is a time nilikuwa na kaivi na jisikia, Nasema, ah, niko na mimba, naenda na nunua hata kanapkin. At least in confuse mzea, yeah. aache kuwa. Mm. Yani na hizo hasira, wenzake wakona watoto, sisi hatuna. Mm. But na, na nikisha nunua hivi after two days. Hmm? Period ndio hiyo. Mm. Hatu wangele shani kwa nyumba. Hmm? As much as pastors came, mm. nikaenda kwa waganga. Hmm? Na kumbuka kuna mwengine nilienda, mm. akaambia mze wangu anishike. Mm. Yaka ita walikuwa mwanaume mmoja huku mwingine huku. Mm. Haka nambia ni merushiwa bonds. So anataka atoe mm. so that I can conceive. Nilipiga nduru. Mm. Kwa mwanaume alikuwa na masaji nini naona ametua kitu kama blanda. Pua! 
akinionyesha hivi ni bonds nilipiga nduru mpaka nikagonjeka but i never saw there was no change there was no change sikuona any fruit mm. kuna mahali pia nilienda mm. moto inawaka hapa chini uingie kwa kitu hapa juu kae ndani ujikunje bila nguo so when that fire is burning mm. you sweat eh? mm. so ati unatoa hiyo curses mm. kama kuna yani hizo bad omens zinatoka when you sweat mm. but still i didn't see anything but wakati niliamua ku focus tu kwa god mm. nikaambia mungu mungu mm. kama uliniumba hivi na nikakuwa niwe tasa mm sawa kama kuna siku nitapata mtoto mm. pia nitakurudishia shukrani mm. so what i'm just advising couples when mm. you wanna pitia such challenges mm. put god first mpendane mm. najua tena mungu haizi bless haizi leta baraka ama shusha baraka mm. pale penye kuna wrangles mm. mungu anapenda peace where there is peace ni hapo ndio kuna mm. mafanikio ama kuna blessings mm. so just love each other mpe god time mm. and God will do it. Mm. So do you think um, this uh, not giving birth ilikuwa imeletwa na hiyo curses zenye walikuwa uh, wame curse upon you? To me I believe mm. but again mm. nikiangalia up to date huyo jamaa hajaipata mtoto. Mm-hmm. So hapo ina ni contradict. Mm. So ni jamaa alikuwa na makosa mm. ama ni hiyo curse mimi sijui. The reason as to why I'm saying that mm-hmm. with Anthony we never dated. It was at first contact mm-hmm. me I conceived. Mm-hmm. Nili conceive and that was it. But mm-hmm. up to date ule jamaa hajaipata mtoto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what are you planning now with your mother? Do you have any plans? Mom, to nina approach mpenda. your mom. Mm-hmm. Huyu, this is the first God I'm seeing mm-hmm. kabla huyu Mungu ninaomba mwenye sio nangi. Mm-hmm. I love my mother. Mm-hmm. Amenitoa mbali sana. Mbali mm-hmm. sana sana sana. My mother has really worked for me. Mm. Mimi uh, kwa kijiji. Mm. Ningevaa nguo leo. Utamaliza hata miaka tatu ndio uone mtu na nguo kama hiyo. Mamangu amenilinda poa, mm. sijai fukuzwa fees, sijai lack anything. Mm. But I really don't know what happened between me and my ma- my mom used to love me. Mm. Immediately niliingia tu form 1. That is it. Mm. Now this problem started When I cleared my class 8, mm. nilikuwa nasomea ushago. So nikaenda kwetu mm. kutembelea babangu. Of course kwetu ni kwetu na si mbali, mm. it's just a walking ngambo na ngambo hapo. Yeah. So wakati nilienda huko, mama akatuma transport mm. tukuja Nairobi. But the two boys mm. ndio walikuja. Mimi nilibaki kwa baba yangu. Yeah. Ambao sijui alikasirika sijui. Na fea yangu ikabaki mm. kwa kina mama kwenye mm. tukua tunaishi. Mm shosho aka wakatumia mm. so vile nilienda nikamwambia shosho nahitaji transport yangu sasa nataka niende Nairobi mm-hmm. na nikaanza kulia mm. eh, wamekula fea yangu cause mama anasema hatumi ingine <laughs> mamangu akikasirika amekasirika mm. ananga reverse gear cause nanijua for sure hatatuma so nikienda huko kulia shosho alinipea fea mm. akaniambia shika na ukienda huko Nairobi usiwahi sikizana na mama yako So you see vitu kama hizo. So I think hiyo tu mdomo ndiye mm. nafanya ilifanya mimi na mamangu tukakusana kabisa. Mm. But generally my mom loved me completely. Mimi ningeambia mamangu kitu hangeruka. Mami nataka hii anafanya. Mm. Singer sijawahi rarukiwa na nguo. Sijawahi. My mother loved me a great deal. Na shosho yako bado wako? Shosho just passed on ilikuwa late December early January. Ah ambapo wakati hata nilitoka huko sikuwahi rudi huko mm. mpaka hata bila mekufa i didn't even go mm. wow it's an amazing story <laughs> wow now i as the first man i think to some point spearly contribute to your life right yeah he did yeah so what can you tell him maybe mali yako mm. ah, uh, <laughs> martin what chenye kilifanya mimi na martin tuachane mm. I think it was the mother alikuwa na pressure kutoka kwa mamake sana mm. but the dad alikuwa ananipenda in fact alikuwa na advice Martin mm. eh, give this girl time give yourself time mm. muende hospitali mm. muone mm. mkoaje mm. maombi pia inasaidia mm-hmm. give yourself time you are still young mm. but naye mama mm. alikuwa anampea pressure nataka mjukuu nataka mjukuu mm. 
nataka mjukuu eh mm. na since alikuwa mama's boy mm. ana evaporate uh, mimi sikuwa na ubana yeye mm. nilimsamehe kitambo mm. in fact hata before that kuna wakati nilimpigia tu simu nikwambia mati mm. unaona tunaweza rudiana tutengeneze maisha yetu mm. akaniambia yeye alikuwa ready asha give up na asha move on ah. nikamwambia it's okay mm. hata mimi nikaomba Mungu mm. i also want to mm. move on mm. though it has been Mm. It has been difficult but mm. I thank God mm. nime maneuver nimeenda through. Wow. That's very nice. So that's a very touching story. Hope <laughs> sure someone will hear this story and maybe at make the right decision, yeah. right? Yes. But at the end of the day kitumesema maana ni that God really works at its exactly. best time. Mm. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification button. We still continue bringing you more of these stories. Thank you Round so two much. Is <laughs> Part 2 <two> is coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs>